Today we're opening the new Yu-Gi-Oh set, Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening two Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep and I'll be giving away all the pulls in this video. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this new set and you can win the giveaway. And by the way, winners will be announced on the community tab of my YouTube channel. That is the only place they will be announced. They will not be announced in the comments. Anything that says my name and has like my profile picture with Telegram or WhatsApp, that's all a scam. Just ignore it. Do not respond to those people. Do not send them a $200 for shipping or whatever they're asking for. Also, if you want to buy some of these for yourself, use my code LED9RUXIN on Sassiato's eBay store. Link is in the description. You get 5% off if you do that. It also supports the channel. All right, let's get right into it. Let's crack these open. So this is an interesting set because with these legendary duelists, they usually have something really cool in them. Like with Rage of Raw, they had a ghost rare wing dragon of Raw. They had the Baron in the last set, which was pretty cool. Even though that's a meta card, they also had like a dark magician cards, a blue eyes card, stuff like that in previous sets. This one is interesting because the ghost rare is kind of bad. The Ghost Rare out of this set is actually Silent Honor Arc, which is an XC's card. So it's not really a Legendary Duelist card. It's very interesting. So I was thinking like maybe do like Legendary Fisherman or Fortress Whale, some sort of throwback like that. But I was completely wrong. They went with an XC's monster. Actually a pretty decent card, but not really used anymore at all. So it's not a meta card and it's also not a throwback card. So it's a very interesting choice. Bottom and Shark's a good card as a regular rare. Marincess Spring Girl. I don't really know what's valuable in here yet because this is literally like a week before it comes out. So uh, I don't know exactly what the values are going to be, but there is one huge reprint in this set that hopefully we can pull to give away to you guys. Marincess, we got the Blue Tang, Citadel Whale, and the Lemuria, the Forgotten City. And that reprint is the Forbidden Droplet, which is a very, very good card. Very expensive card. It has three printings and all of them are like 75 plus dollars right now so i don't know what this one's going to be valued at because it is the lowest rarity there was two secret rares and an ultimate rare printing so far so it's, it's a really really good card and uh if we can get it that's a huge pull it's really the best card in this set which is very interesting because it has nothing to do with you know duels from the deep or whatever but i mean it's a droplet so that's fine i mean i guess droplet drop in the ocean you know uh uh okay I don't know. I don't think that's why. Me oh, we got an ultra rare. Mega Fortress Whale. I was making this weird joke, so we missed that. Mega Fortress Whale. This is actually a sick card. I highly doubt that, like, this is going to be, like, meta stuff, but I could be wrong. I mean, maybe some of this stuff will pop up in the meta. We'll have to see, but uh, I don't really know. This is very weird placement because it's, like, the rare, and then it skips one, and then it goes to the foil. I've never seen anything like this. Doom Kraken. That's a super rare. They're not guaranteed, so this is very old school, like in the Legendary Duelist kind of stuff. It's normally, like, a throwback, kind of like old packs, where you don't get, like, a foil every time. You get, like, ghost rares and stuff like that. So it's pretty geared toward the old school people. That's why I was surprised with the ghost rare choice. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you think about the ghost rare. Because, I mean, I know a lot of you guys were disappointed. I was, especially you guys who are just, like, collectors like me. I thought for sure, since they, like, rebranded it to have Mako on it. I think in the OCG, it didn't have Mako on it. They just did that for the NA. So I was like, okay, well, they're probably going to pull, like, a ghost rare legendary fisherman then, right? Because they're, you know, branding it towards the nostalgia. But they didn't. They just put a random XCs card, which isn't even really used anymore. Full Armored Black Ray, Ray Lancer was actually pretty good in Duel Links in a deck that I used in the uh, uh, XCs water deck, but it's been a while. I mean, they, they released Master Duel, so <laughs> Barian's Chaos Draw, so I don't know if anybody's still playing that game or not. Duel Links fans, make sure you sound out in the comments so I know that you guys still exist. Also, speaking of Master Duel, we have been playing that and some other things. Oh, Marinza's Dive, very cool. On Twitch a lot recently. We recently passed 5,000 followers, which was pretty awesome. So if you guys want to go give that a follow and check out the streams, I've been doing them every single weekday and even on the weekends sometimes. So if you guys want to come hang out, definitely do that. It'd be awesome. All right, let's see what else we can pull out of this Legendary Duelist. Silent Anger, Sea Stealth, Lemuria. We're really just looking for the droplet. I mean, I want to see what else they got because, like, it seems like all the nostalgia cards are commons. They've kind of done that a lot with these sets. So it makes it a little bit interesting. Like, it's like, well, ooh, we pulled a... I remember Genzo was a common. It's like, we pulled a Genzo, and it's like, well, it's a common. So it's very easy access, but it's a little bit weird. Uh, ooh, a CXC's Nash Knight. I don't know how to say that, actually pronounce that, but okay. All right, the next pack we have Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. And by the way, you will get all of these pulls. So even if we pull the droplet, now that was the third card. What in the world is going on with these? This is very weird. I don't understand like what order you pull these things in. 
I don't know. Let me know if you're excited about this set. Because I know a lot of you guys do like the Legendary Duelist stuff. The problem with it, it usually seems to, like, flop. If it's not, like, really good. Because, like, if you guys remember Synchro Storm. Oh, my goodness. Princess Coral Triangle. Very cool. That set had a Baron, which is a very, very good Synchro card. And literally, the boxes are $30. <laughs> it has one good card, and that's it. The Ghost Rare was down to, like, 30 or 40 bucks or something. Look, now the Rare's here. I don't understand this. They're kind of strange sets, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about them. They're not as exciting for me because... The Ghost Rare, when it's, you know, when it's not a good one, it's like, okay, well, it's not a great one to chase. But also, they're not, uh, there's no, like, crazy chase. Like, the Ghost Rare is one per case, which, you know, for me at this point, oh, look at that stamping. That's interesting. It's like double stamped Bahamut Shark. That's pretty cool. Princess Battle Ocean. It's like, okay, well, one case, we get it. And, you know, it happens. There it is. We got the Ghost Rare, which is, like, exciting, but... I just like how hard it is to pull the Starlights. I think that's what makes it. the appeal for the Starlight sets really, really cool. They're so hard to pull the one you want, Marincess. That is dinged up. But to be fair, if you're just like a normal person buying one box or a few packs, one out of a case is pretty rare still. So I see how it's still definitely rare enough. It's not like it's a problem. This is like a first world, I open a lot of packs problem. <laughs> it's not even really a problem. I think it's totally fine. It's just not as exciting electric jellyfish as, you know, pulling a one out of 10 cases or whatever. That's pretty insane. I think it would be cool if in these sets they added a little bit more, like maybe ultimate rares at some point. Abyss shark, very nice. Like an ultimate rare and ghost rare possibility in these would be, make these really, really unique. Like, so OTS has the, the ultimates right now. You could add other ultimates in this set, so you could only pull them in OTS or in Legendary Duelist. Or they could even make their own unique rarity for Legendary Duelist. Like another cool one like Collector Rare, but something different. And you could put only Legendary Duelist sets can pull these. Which I guess technically you would say Ghosts, but there's Ghosts from the Past as well. So it, it is Ghosts, but also Ghosts from the Past. Plus only having one Ghost, you know, it's like, well, there's the one and then, you know, you can't pull anything else. So I think it'd be cool to have the Ghost and something else. That would make these pretty interesting to open. Here we go. Let's go uh, Legendary Fisherman 2, Marincess. Marincess Spring Girl. It seems like a lot of these uh, rare names are double stamped, which is interesting. Like, they put the, the the name on two different times. Marincess. Bloodsaw Shark. Okay, so far we have not seen the Forbidden Droplet, which is unfortunate. I don't know. I wonder if they short printed it. I would not I would not put it past them. It has happened in the past. Let's see. We've got the Ocean Dragon Lord Karyushin. Very cool. Ultra rare. we got to count and see how many. I think you get five to six ultras. Yeah, and another problem is no secret rare. So it's ultras and supers and then like one ghost. So it's kind of like there's not a lot of high rarity. And I think that was a problem for a long time when it came to opening stuff that the rarities were not that exciting. There's only one exciting rarity in here, really. All right, next box. So I'm not really trying to like rag on this like set the entire time or just these kind of sets. I'm just saying what I think could make these better and make these like super fun. I am really glad that they put a droplet in here though. Because if there was no droplet in here, this... This set would not be very exciting. Let's be honest. Like, I don't really know who would buy this. I guess if you're looking for Mako support, but it's going to be tough. I feel like this is going to be in a similar line with Synchro Storm. One really good meta card. And then kind of like a Ghost Rare that nobody's really looking for. I'm going to need one because I'm collecting every Ghost set. So, of course, I'm going to go for it. But I'm just saying the average person is not going to be like, you know what I need? Silent Honor Arc Ghost Rare. That's what I need. You know, it's like, well, it's a cool card, but it's like... And if you pull it, you're going to be happy. There's a Marincess Aqua Argonaut. Very cool. So, yeah, you're going to be happy if you pull it. But also, oh, it's like, you know, it's not like you pulled something insane. And you're not really going to be searching for it. Double Fin. We've got the Marincess Blue Tang. And the Marincess cards are, were actually expensive for a while when they came out of, I think it was Rising Rampage was where some of those came from originally. But I don't think they're that good at this point anyway. So the reprints aren't that crazy. I mean, I know some of these were worth some money and like secret and stuff like that. But you know, like money as in like a five bucks or something. So the commons will be nice if you want to pick up like a super cheap core of this. But I can't imagine like Legendary Fisherman. Coral and Enemy was a secret rare, I think. So that's actually pretty good. Bus saw shark like I don't know really what these are reprinting because like I know a lot of these cards like silent angler and bus saw I know they were in like duel of saga so they've probably had a ton of prints like since then duel of saga came on 2016 I mean that was six years ago so a lot of this is kind of like I don't know I don't really know what we're looking for fury of kaishin yeah so this is wasn't this in the one of the other ones I thought that was in another one of the legendary duelists I can't remember, to be honest, but very interesting. I, I just find this set very interesting. Uh, these Legendary Duelists, can, they can really be hit or miss. Frostosaurus, I mean, this was an ultimate rare back in the day. Can you believe that? That's such a weird ultimate. Electric Jellyfish, we've pulled that like two or three times already, I think. And they often don't have a lot of different ultras, so 
If you buy just a couple boxes, you end up getting repeats, but uh, we're not getting a repeat of Droplet, apparently. Bahamut Shark, all of these are like double stamped. Very interesting, to say the least. I'm interested to see if there are any prices. I'm going to be trying to find prices for this stuff, but I don't know what's, what they're going to be. Sea Stealth 2 and Cyber Shark. Cyber Shark was a secret rare back in the day, too, and Duelist Genesis, I think. So a lot of these are really old cards. I mean, it is Legendary Duelist, after all, but... Uh, Marinza Sea Angel, 7th uh seventh eternity and the another one of these ultras the same one legendary fisherman okay next one let's see if we can get that droplet droplet would really change change the uh the mood about the set for sure we'd be like wow the set's awesome <laughs> droplet is definitely needed though to like give this set something in it you know torrential tribute that's actually a very good card i mean this had a million prints but even then like if you're you know just getting into it and you don't have one you can just grab one out of these packs so that makes it nice and easy torrential also is a mako tsunami card so it makes sense that it's in here uh marin says even though i don't think it was originally supposed to be like him on the front or whatever but very cool because it's not technically a mako uh it's not oh abyss shark nice ultra rare it's not a mako legendary duelist it's actually just duels from the deep so it's supposed to be like any water i think there were some other people that they could have had but they went with mako because he's the the one everyone recognizes it's always interesting when you talk about mako though he was in like two or three episodes he was not very well known like in the show but like once you get into duel links like you're like really feel like he's like a huge character because you could play as him and all that different stuff so that's what i liked about duel links though it really ex it didn't like expand like any lore or anything but it made you feel like all those characters were super important but saw shark which is very cool yeah, so I don't know. I don't know about this set. It'd probably be kind of fun to like throw together a water deck, but I don't know if they're any good. Oh, look, Giant Hand got a reprint in this. Okay, this is the prize card. So this is actually a cool print because this is like a $2,000 prize card right now as a super rare. The Ultra is even more than that. So you can get the cheap version out of here. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so there are a couple things in this set. There's not nothing. There's a couple things. You got a Torrential Common. You got the Giant Hand. You got uh, Sea Stealth Attack is not a bad card. You've got uh, Forbidden Droplet, of course. And then, of course, a Ghost Rare. I mean, <laughs> it's just the fact that it is a Ghost Rare is, is really basically it. Marincess Ro Marble Rock. Marincess Pascalis. And at number 71, Ribarian Shark. I don't think I've ever seen that card, other than today, of course. Because we have seen that card a few times today. All right. Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. All right. We've got the number C101, Double Fin. Marincess Dive. Right, yeah, just a lot of Marincess. So really, if you're looking for Marincess, this is your set, because I think most of the cards are probably in here. Let's go. Get a Ghost Rare for you guys. Marincess. Marincess Battle Ocean and number 71. Add it again. Two boxes, 72 packs. Yeah, these are 36-pack boxes with five cards per pack. Marincess Spring Girl, which are always interesting. I find I like 24-pack boxes more, because 36 is a lot to open, like, per box. It is... You're, like tired after opening them torrential number c101 is not a terrible card either that used to have an ultimate rare well it does still but back in the day there was an ultimate rare torrential silent angler bahamut shark with the legendary fisherman and citadel whale citadel whale was kind of good in duelings for a while that and sea stealth that was a good deck saber shark got the marincess sleepy maiden xyz remora crystal shark there's a super rare and number 71 few packs left a few more chances of forbidden droplet or a ghost rare marincess wait oh i thought that was a rare Prosasaurus and Lemuria with a buzzsaw shark. Very cool. Let's get something amazing to end this off. This new set. Always fun to open the new sets, even if you don't like love them specifically, but it's always fun anyway to see what the new cards are coming out with. It's just awesome that Yu-Gi-Oh! is still coming out with new sets. Is it not awesome? Let me know in the comments if you agree. New sets constantly, like just new cards, reprint cards from old stuff, new rarities. I mean, who? how can you not love Yu-Gi-Oh? It's awesome. I mean, like even opening this set that I'm not super excited about, you just love it, you know? It's just reminding me how much I love it. It's very interesting. We got the Rank Up Magic, Marincess, Sea Stealth, number 106 Giant Ants. We got two of those in this box. We got zero in the other one. What, two more packs, I think? And then we're, we're done. Two boxes. Oh, my goodness. Marinza Sea Angel. We got the Marinza Sleepy Maiden. Marinza Crystal Heart. Mega Fortress Whale. There's an Ultra. Is that our last one? I hope not. Will this be a Ghost Rare? The final pack. I think I'd rather have Droplet to me. Well, personally, I'd rather have the Ghost Rare, but I think you guys would rather have Jop Droplet. And this is for you. Marinza Sea Angel. We got the Marinza Circulation. Marinza Battle Ocean. Final chance. Legendary Fisherman. All right. Appropriate. Appropriate way to end it. And Rage of Karyushin. All right. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Guards, Stone Full Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Noland, and Anantai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.